MindView's Capture Toolbar has always been a great way of capturing images and text from anywhere on your computer. It's also been a great way of automating your web references when capturing content from the internet. MindView 9 has seen an enhancement to the Capture Toolbar. Not only have we improved the way that the tool works, but we've added additional methods of capturing content. The first big change is that when capturing content using the toolbar, instead of it going directly onto your mind map, it now populates into this research tab. The research tab contains any content that you've captured both from your capture toolbar and the MindView Assist mobile app. In many ways, the new Capture Toolbar is mirroring the functionality now available in the mobile application. Another fundamental difference is that the Capture Toolbar will always remain open until you close it. This is great because it means you can capture loads of different content without having to return to the MindView interface. Let's put this into practice. First, I'm going to go online and capture an image from a web page. We'll then capture some text. And then finally, I'm going to use the audio capture to dictate my site report and then transcribe this into text. So let's start with picture. Here, I want to capture this visual workflow from a PDF into my research toolbar. First, select picture. And then highlight the section we want to capture. Notice in the new Enhanced Toolbar, we now have some editing functions on this image, such as rotating, cropping, and even the ability to capture any text from this image using the built-in OCR functionality. Beneath, MindView has automatically titled the image, remembered the URL from where we captured this content, and we can also place any keywords relating to this image. In addition, we can label all of our content with colors and even assign that content into specific folders, making it easier to collate and access our content in the research toolbar. Notice as I hit save, I remain on the screen and the capture toolbar is still in place. Navigating back to MindView, new research is available. As you can see, at the top of the page is our newly captured image. It's highlighted in yellow, the color that I chose, and we can see it's organized underneath the site report. At the top of the research panel, you'll see the opportunity to sort our content, access folders, or filter on specific types of content. In this example, I just want to review the content in my site report. This makes it simple to access any content that I've captured. When I'm ready to use any captured content, I simply drag and drop that content onto my mind map, where in this case, it has simply populated the image. Let's try that again, but let's capture some text. As before, select text then drag and drop over the section of text you want to capture. In the first instance, MindView will maintain the formatting of the source location of that content. Should you want to make it consistent to the rest of your mind map, you can easily clear the formatting of all the text. And just like the image, we've titled, captured the URL, and I can organize this as a different color, still staying within my site report. When dragging and dropping text onto the mind map, this text will populate into the text note editor. Notice it's removed all the formatting and at the bottom of the text, highlighted in gray, is the reference back to the web source. This is where MindView, combined with the citation tool, makes it perfect for capturing any web references. Navigating into my citation tool, 
It's listed the web source and even date stamped the day that I accessed the content. Finally, brand new to this capture toolbar is the ability to record audio. See this as your built-in digital dictaphone. I went on site this morning and saw there's still loads of work to do. The weather looks like it's going to slow the project down. I spoke to the team to find out if this was going to be a problem and they told me that it wasn't going to be. I've reached out to the client and told them that everything is running on time and they shouldn't be worried. Just as when I was capturing images and text, I can title my audio, capture keywords and organize by colors and research folder. I can review the audio. I went on site this morning and saw there's still loads of work to do. And easily transcribe all of that audio into digital text. What's great about the transcription engine is that it will automatically remove any ums, any errs, any moments of imperfection, and also sentence case and punctuate your text. But just like the text capture, should I want to make any further edits here, I can before saving it into the research toolbar. In practice, some of our users just want to hear back the information before they start doing their report writing or generating their documents. All audio recorded within the research toolbar is easily accessible and I can listen back at any time. I went on site this morning and saw there's still loads of work to do. And of course, I want to drag and drop my text, helping me to author any type of report. The end result of all that work is that you're able to create documentation far quicker than your traditional methods. Here I can see the captured text from the website and beneath we have the reference to the website. Further down the transcribed text from my audio and here the image from the website. All the way at the bottom of the page it's automatically created our bibliography of the two websites, the date stamps, and the URL leading us back to those websites. So whether you're using the capture toolbar in the desktop application or the mobile app to capture all of your content on the go, the research toolbar is going to be a one-stop shop for all of your content to help aid the creation of your document.